Today I want to present you XOR Search. It is one of my uh, popular tools. XOR Search is a tool that will allow you to find strings inside uh, files. So it will here look uh, for uh, the file you are providing it and look for strings inside that file. So you have to pay attention. It's uh, the other way around than a grab. So you first have to provide the name of the file and then the string you are looking for. And it will look for that string inside binary files. Now XOR search will not only look for uh, that string itself but also different types of uh, simple encodings. For example it will look for XOR encoded uh, strings so with one key, one uh, byte key. So we are talking about 256 uh, combinations. It will try all those keys. It will brute force uh, the key. We have also a rotate left where we have uh, seven possibilities and also a rotate of the alphabet where we have 26 uh, possibilities. So it will try all those three uh, encodings here to find strings encoded in uh, one of these encoding techniques inside the file. Why are we doing this? Well, because this is something that is uh, often used in malware to obfuscate strings. So if you would do a simple string dump of malware, you will not find uh, strings, but with XOR search you will find them when they are encoded. It's something that is uh, done in malware. For example, a simple XOR key of one byte is used to obfuscate strings. And XOR search is a tool that helps you find those strings. So XOR search has different options. You can find them here. But uh, we will not uh, discuss all those uh, options. Uh, just have a look at the more interesting ones. So XOR search. First of all, you have uh, option I to in your the case. So where the string you provide can be in any case, uh, uppercase, lowercase, or a mix. And uh, XOR search will find it if it is present encoded uh, in the file regardless of uh, the uh, encoding. So we can uh, try that out. Let's look in uh, file test for the string HTTP. Okay, so here you can already see that uh, XOR search found uh, the string HTTP. It is here. And it will also print any characters that are following up to the zero or 50 characters uh, at the most. The position, X position, where it found HTTP is here. AFCC. And it has been encoded with key A4 and encoding method XOR. So this string is obfuscated in test.exe with an XOR encoding key A4. So this is how you can find a string with XOR search inside the file. Now if we do the same but with option minus E you can see that we find actually two strings at the same position. The reason why we find two strings is that HTTP in uppercase and HTTP in lowercase is actually the same value but with a bit that is different. It's uh, the 20 bit. So you can see here 84 and A4 that's a difference of 20 in, uh, in hex. That is the difference between o, uh, o lowercase and uppercase. So that is why it is finding two strings. There's actually only one string because we are talking about the same position here, AFCC, but because we instructed it to ignore the case, it found two possibilities. So that is one option. Another interesting option uh, that you can have a look at is safe. So you have 
found the proper key to decode the string, but maybe there are other interesting strings inside that file, so it would be useful to decode that file and save it in its decoded form. And that is exactly what the minus s option does, the save option. We can try this again. So an XOR search, we save, we look in test.exe for the string HTTP. We found it. And if we have a look at the files here, you can see that one file has been saved here. Test.exe with the extension .xor.a4. And that means that this file has been XOR decoded with key, with key a4. Okay, so that helps you transform that file so that you can use for example a simple string command to see if there are any other interesting strings hiding inside that file. The neighbor option. This uh, option allows you to see what's coming before and uh, after the position we are looking for. So let me show you here. So an XOR search, option N, and we are going to look 10 characters before the position we find. So in test.exe, HTTP. Okay. And now you can see here we found HTTP, but in front of HTTP, 10 characters in front of it, you find own risk dot. So you can see that HTTP is uh, the beginning of a text, but that there is also more text coming in front of that. Take a longer uh, value and you will have more strings here, more characters. You can see, use at your own risk. So that is the string it is finding in front of HTTP. It is interesting if uh, the string you are looking for doesn't uh, immediately make sense, so you can look with option minus n to see what's coming in front of it. You can also look uh, for hex values. So minus h will allow you to do a hex uh, search. Here, for example, We can look inside test for x value 09, 09. That's hex value. Okay, and here we have several uh, results, uh, all XOR encoded at uh, different positions. You can see here all different positions and also uh, using different keys. AF here b2 here. And the last option I uh, want to have a look at you, at with uh, you, is the file option, minus f. This option actually allows you to provide a string, uh, a file that contains string, strings, and then look for the dif uh, different strings inside uh, the file, the test.exe uh, we are looking uh, at. So here, let's open uh, Notepad. Um, text, no. let's call it search. The text. Let's create the file. And we are looking for HTTP and we are looking for copyright. Let's save the file. And now, thing also to pay attention to is that uh, XOR search here, and you do a file search, you have to provide the search file after the minus F option. 
So XOR search minus F. Sorry, we are looking for search text that contains the strings we are looking for, and we are looking for them inside test.exe. Okay, and we found one string here, HTTP. Let's use also option minus E in your case. Okay, and now we found uh, several strings here. HTTP uh, strings. Let me highlight them here and here, but also the different uh, copyright strings we found here. Yeah. So that is XOR Search, a popular tool uh, of mine that I developed in C, and it is uh, written in pure C, so it's not only working on Windows, you can also compile it on uh, other environments uh, like uh, Linux and uh, OS X and use them uh, on those uh, operating systems. Just remember that XOR search works like grep, but that you inverse the arguments. So first comes the file and the, st and the string you are looking for. And XOR search will brute force different simple encoding techniques, while XOR is one of them, but you also have a roll and rot 